Well, that spectacularly backfired. Sorry? That mindfulness session that you forced me into was amazing. All the stresses and strains of the day just melted away and are now floating on... Faye's leaving. What do you mean, leaving? She's needed back at the shelter. Staffing problems. All oh, right. So it's just a temporary thing. She'll be back. Unlikely. At least not for the foreseeable. Mum, I'm so sorry. Just as you two were getting along as well. It's not the only bombshell she delivered. She asked me to go with her. To South America? Well, that's just ridiculous. I told her it was a pipe dream, that I have commitments here. Right, what did she say? <laughs> she said that labelling it a pipe dream was a cynical way of avoiding an adventure. That being there, I could live a life that would really make a difference. You've planned this, haven't you? This event's just a big ruse to bag your ex. <gasps> All right, I'll let you get back to him. See you later. Don't ask. Eric donated them. Hideous, aren't they? He insists they're valuable, but I think he's just trying to palm them off. How are you doing? You've heard? I saw Faye earlier. She seemed distracted. So I'll ask you again. How are you doing? Normal me would go, I'm fine. One of those things obviously wasn't meant to be. But you'd be lying. Truth? I feel bitter. Bitter and... cheated. I don't suppose you've asked if you can go with her? She's already offered. Well, there you go. She's put her heart on the line. At least you've got the option. Half of me would jump at the chance of a new life. Fresh start, an adventure. Then what's stopping you? Rona, what me and Rona have hasn't always come easy. It's taken hard work, effort. A couple of years back, all we ever did was the checklist. Checklist? Oh, you know, birthdays, Mother's Day, Christmas, but never on the day, Boxing Day or the day after, whenever we could fit each other in. We didn't really have a relationship. Not like it is now. Oh. What you and Rona have built, that won't die, you know. Take me and Vanessa. She's in Canada. But it doesn't stop me thinking about her every day. But you're here. Yeah, well, maybe I shouldn't be. But Vanessa's coming back. Whereas Faye, I mean, this seems pretty permanent. Look, I'm not trying to give you a lecture, but something like this is a test to show how deep your feelings really are. Oh, Faye, by the way, this lunch, I mean, I'm already being way more generous than the b, &B so I want it specified. It's not all you can eat. I don't want bare bidding and putting me out of business. Noted. Soup or sandwich, hmm? I'm not Rockefeller. Oh, sorry I'm late. Rona wanted me to pick up Leo. Oh, flights, already? Got to be done. I've um, been thinking about what you said. Yeah, opportunity to make a fresh start, a challenge that I could be of real use at the shelter. You made me sound like an employer. <laughs> I wasn't just looking for a lackey. No, no, no. This is about us making a commitment, a permanent one. Scary. <laughs> when you suggested moving, I bolted. I, I shut the door, didn't even take a peep inside. But the thought of losing the woman I love. Love? Yeah. I should never ask you to come. It was selfish. Cruel. Then again, that's me all over, acting on impulse. Please, you don't have to say any more. And as for me, well, <laughs> I've clearly said enough already. 
This isn't about the L word. Oh, I'd be grateful if you spared me the platitudes. You think that I don't feel the same. I do love you. You must know that. Then why? Sorry about the way. What can I get you? A uh, little privacy, if it's not too much to ask. Well, pardon me for serving in my own cafe. J just go in the back and cook me something. Something as in? I don't know. Whatever takes the longest. Oh, belly buster it is. Eight ninety nine. That all right? Yes, fine. Whatever. If what you're saying is true, you know it is. Then why aren't you begging me to come with you? I mean, this morning. This morning. And now? I know what you'd be leaving behind. I know the sacrifice I'm asking, and it's too much. It's way too much. That is my call. Not when you'd wake up every morning resenting me. No, oh, nonsense. <laughs> Maybe not at first. But after a while. I could never resent you. you... For God's sake, woman, you've brought my whole world to life. I have waited 71 years for this, for you. If you think I'm going to give it up that easily, you, you can think again. <laughs> oh, I know exactly where I'm going to take you first. Yeah? Casa del Sol, Nethiente. Oh, it sounds very exotic. Let me guess. Mm -hmm. A bar. <laughs> you made me sound like a lush. Or perhaps another den of iniquity. <laughs> it's a respectable establishment. It's the best little Japanese in Quito. Oh, there was me thinking I was moving to South America. That city has it all. Not like round here. Struggling to get a pizza after 9 p.m. Can you bring the other one out, sweetheart? When are you going to tell her? I need to find the right time. Rona's a grown woman. Yeah. Don't you think there's a chance that she might be happy for you? Not just Rona I'm worried about. 